Yo, what's up everybody? Uh, I want to do a video real quick. Um, this is nothing new. As you can tell, uh, this is on InfoWars. The article goes, um, it's from May 9th, 2012. But um, hey, sometimes stuff gets missed and uh, might be worth not missing. So this is a link to a document that was, um, according to Army official Timony, T Tiffany Wood, not intended for public release. Release, ooh, English. Uh, claiming that provisions apply only outside the United States, but supposedly disproven by the the document itself. I did find the document. It's linked. It's still online. Um, I will grab the link and put it in the comments below. Um, but guys, so the um, the document is three hundred and some three hundred twenty six pages, but let me go back to the Alex Jones article here. Um, it says here that <clears throat> the manual outlines how officers will develop programs to indoctrinate political activists incarcerated in detention camps into developing an understanding and appreciation of U.S. policies and actions. The document also explains how re-educating re the IR, that's internment and re-education facility, Population or setting the stage for future acceptance of future operations is the responsibility of PSYOP personnel within the camp. So wherever this camp is going to be, they want to take political dissidents or activists and incarcerate them basically for their beliefs, which is proof of the video I, I re released yesterday, which talks about um, free speech being um, clamped down on. This might be four or five years out, but I'm trying to talk about this now to hopefully get some people thinking about it. Um, then it gets, gets even worse um, here. The document also makes clear that the in, internment facility is not only a re-education camp, but also a forced labor camp. Page 277 of the manual states, detainees constitute a significant labor force of skilled and unskilled individuals. Let's go to 277 and see. Uh, you know, guys, we'll just do this together. We'll just make sure. 277. Special programs, education, visitation, employment, boom. Detainees constitute a, yep, word for word, should be employed to the fullest extent possible in work that is needed to instruct, construct, manage, perform administrative functions for, and maintain the internment facility. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Detainees may be employed in other essential work only when qualified civilian labor is not available. Uh, detainee labor external to DOD is regulated through contracts. Okay, so uh, let's see. May be used to perform the following camp administration, installation, maintenance, agricultural work, public works, public utilities, and building operations that have no military character or purpose, transportation and handling of stores that are not military in nature or purpose, domestic services. Interesting. So. Sounds like uh, a forced labor camp of people who disagree with the government. Well, they've been talking about this for a while. Okay. And they're saying it's not intended for U.S. use. Is this supposed to make it any better? They're going to do this in Syria or somewhere? I don't care. This is terrible. Uh, the manual directs that political activists may be confined to isolation and that prisoners may be silenced by using muffling them with soft, clean cloth tied around their mouths and fastened at the back of their heads. Oh my god, is this what the world's coming to, you guys? In her email response, Woods falsely claims that the document is intended for operations outside the contents of the United States, depending on nature and magnitude of an event, would determine the level of U.S. military involvement. Um, the manual also details how prisoners will be identified by their social security number, another glaring confirmation that the rules apply to U.S. citizens. Um, Document makes clear on page 193 that the rules apply to processing American detainees on U.S. soil so long as the president passes an executive order to nullify posse comitatus, which is obviously something Obama would have no problem doing. So, again, um, this just goes forward with my um, earlier point that I was making you guys that Alex Jones might be an ally here. Uh, I was about to write him off over the Trump guest appearance, and now I'm starting to wonder about Trump. Is Trump... Um, this terrible guy, or is he maybe um, 
more of a JFK type of figure. Maybe he's still somewhat establishment, but he might be trying to stop the biggest um, powers of the world from what they want to do. Um, in this case, it's the world government. I'll do another video later on whether world government is absolutely bad or not. I think it probably um, could be seen from both ways, but um, just right here, just want to make you guys aware of this uh, document that was leaked that uh, discusses the possibility of detainment, um, internment, and forced labor and relocation um, practices within the government in the United States. All right, guys, like to know your thoughts. Uh, if you have any more information or links, please share them below and uh, subscribe. Check it out. Peace.